I don't want to lose my daughter to the state. Even as she grows into an adult, I'll always be her mom. This wedge driving that has occurred um, ha makes me feel scared that I'm going to lose my child. My name is Amber Levine. I live in Newcastle, Maine, and I'm a mom of three. Being a mom is definitely the most important role I've I've ever played. I was in my early 20s when my daughter was born and it, it changed me immediately. And in those couple of years, we were just, she was my little sidekick. She went everywhere with me. She did everything with me. And yeah, we've, we've always been really close. She came to me before this all began to talk to me about some anxiety she was experiencing. You know, we, she's just always been able to come to me and talk to me about things. At the end of her seventh grade year, she began talking with a school social worker, but they did transfer her to this other social worker who I had never met, and he never reached out to me to tell me that he was gonna be working with my kiddo. And it just, everything about it felt like the goal was to remove me from any sort of conversation surrounding my daughter's mental health. One day, family affair, we were cleaning my daughter's bedroom and we discovered a breast binder in her bedroom. And so I had a conversation with her and asked her where it came from. She finally came out and told me that the school had given it to her and more uh, precisely, the school social worker. This is a, a breast binder. This is one of the binders that was given to my daughter. And as you can see right here, there's like an, an added layer of like compression where your breasts are to, to compress them, to make you appear more masculine. It, it hurt as a mom to know that she was keeping a secret, but I think it hurt even more to know that adults were encouraging her to keep these secrets. It, it really makes you wonder what other things are occurring in, in your schools. It really makes you question everything. I met with the principal and the superintendent. They met with the social worker on Tuesday, and then I met with them again on Wednesday with the superintendent, and they just decided that the social worker did nothing wrong and that they weren't going to investigate the situation. This situation really is about my parental rights being violated, about a social worker who had never even had a conversation with me, encouraging my child to keep secrets from me. To tell her, you know, look, I'm not gonna tell your mom and you don't have to either. So she's bringing these, these breast binders home and hiding them in her room on me. That's distressing. At 13, keeping secrets from your parents is a stressful situation. I went to a school board meeting and I, I spoke up about this issue. The only response I got was thank, thank you for your comments. comment. I have three kids who need an education and I would love to be able to send them to a public school and in the current environment, I'm not comfortable with that. And so I feel like unfortunately, it's gonna take legal action from parents like myself to really make change happen. The Goldwater Institute jumped on board with this uh, because they know it's important, because parental rights are, are incredibly important and they've been beyond supportive. I There's no way I would have continued to pursue a lawsuit if it wasn't for the Goldwater Institute. My daughter, I, I pulled my daughter out of school and she um, I'm homeschooling her currently. She's in eighth grade and so I, I don't know what high school is going to look like for her. Our goal as parents is to like raise amazing human beings who contribute to society, who care about other human beings, like th that's our goal as a mom, a dad. We, we want to, to raise happy, healthy people. And to be left out of such a life-altering decision is, it just doesn't even make sense as a mom. I don't want to lose my daughter 